Greetings guys, this is Magnan Mas, Minds Lectures Online. We continue treating Engineering Science M3 Test 1, paper which was written on the 4th of October 2019. Now we are doing question 2, which is about forces. Question 2.1 says, calculate the magnitude and, na and the nature of the forces in member AB. Member AB is this member and member AC, AC is this member shown in figure 2 below this figure 2 take the upward force R which is this force S 443.013 newtons and angle A is 60 degrees so this is 60 degrees so to do that we've got to cut this uh, truss here and when you cut this truss, we'll end up with something like this. Whereby we'll have AB 60 degrees here, AC and R. And let's assume these forces are acting in these directions. Like this. So let's try to answer this question. Forces 2.1. We end up with the force that's acting. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's vertically upwards, and the other one which is horizontal, and another acting at an angle 60 degrees. And we've got this acting that way. And let's assume this X that way. And this X that way. This AB. This AC. And this R. Which is 443.01. 3 newtons. So to solve this we've got to form a triangle. A triangle of forces. Such that... Uh, we use the parallelogram rule or the triangle rule so to do that we are going to move this force in its line of action so it will be from here to there and then we complete the parallelogram so let's do that we're going to end up with a force like this and another one here so I have this yeah and this so this R this A B this A C this also R according to the parallelogram properties and this is also AC according to parallelogram properties and then this is 60 and this will also be 60 and with that being said if we Since this is acting vertically upwards and then this acting horizontal, this becomes a 90 degree angle and then this will be 30 and also this will be 30 and then again this will be 90 and this will be 90 according to properties of a parallelogram. And now we are looking for AB and uh, what you call AB and AC. So we can isolate one of the triangles from this parallelogram. So let's isolate this one. We'll have something like this 90 degree, 60, 30, this R, this AB. Then this AC. So 
since this is a right angle we can use trig ratios we know that uh, sine theta equals to opposite of hypotenuse whereby in this case it's going to be sine 60 equals to opposite which is r over hypotenuse which is a b therefore a b equals to r over sine 60 going to 443.013 over sine 60 punch that into the calculator it's going to be 443.013 over sine 16 it gives us 511.5 for seven neutrons and then to get uh, AC we can use trig ratio or per Pythagoras theorem let's use Pythagoras so AC it's going to be square root of AB squared minus R squared which is going to be four four which is going to be five one 1.547 all squared minus 443.013 squared all under square root can you rewrite it properly 511.547 squared minus 443.013 squared Punch that into the calculator square root of 511.547 squared minus 3.103 squared and we get 255.773 neutron and that's it for question 2.1 question 2.2 we are given this diagram and we are told to calculate the magnitude and the direction of the horizontal and vertical forces as indicated in the figure below if you can check our horizontal has to be our vertical has to be in this direction and horizontal in that direction so there's the y and there's the x so if we do that and take this as our reference axis we'll realize that this angle is acting at an, this force is acting at an angle also this one is acting at an angle we've got an angle from year to year and since this is a straight line whereby straight line the angle and straight line is equal to 180 say 180 minus 130 and we get the remaining angle here which is going to be 50 degrees and then since this force and this force are acting at uh, 90 degrees we can get this remaining angle since we have this part of the angle here as 50 so we're going to say 90 minus this 50 we get 40 degrees here and then now let's try to get those forces that we are asked to calculate so i'd like to do this so that i don't get to draw the diagram again i'll write it down here yes, it's visible so we'll start with the horizontal forces that's forces in the x direction equals to negative 60 this one plus this one which is acting at an angle and we need the x component we're going to use cos since it's the adjacent to the angle so we're going to see 100 newtons cos of cos of 50 plus this one whereby we're also looking for the x component of this force which is adjacent to the angle we are also going to use cos 80 cos of 40 degrees punch this into the calculator it's going to be negative 60 plus 
100 cos 50 plus 80 cos 40 and we get 65.56 newtons that's the force in the horizontal force in the direction it's towards the positive side see to the right there's the horizontal force In the vertical which is the forces in the y direction it's going to be this one which is negative 70 since it's going downward plus 100 looking for the y component which is opposite the angle we're going to use sine sine 50 degrees minus since this one is going downwards 80 and we're looking for the y component which is opposite the angle we're going to use sine 40. punch that into the calculator negative 70 plus brackets 100 sine 50 minus 80 sine 40 brackets and we get 344.81 nine newtons so we can say fy equals to 44.819 newtons direction downwards since it's going to the negative direction downwards as the vertical force resultant force and that's it for question two